for the first time ever, we're not actually drinking alcoholic beverages with our vlog. That's my nice tea. Have <laughs> you made your tea Irish, or is he just having a Irish good old uh, English breakfast tea? British tea for a big British day. It is a it is a big British day. It's the last chance to register to vote for the upcoming general election, eighth eighth of July. Yeah, that's right. Eighth of June. Oh shit! Eighth of yeah, June. Eighth of June. <laughs> 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 right. You might be in there in July. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> Good job I registered it's a long time ago. It's been a new government for a month. Which is like, I'm voting to this. <laughs> what? I mean, we live in a democratic state. Uh, there's countries around this world that don't have, but well, the people that don't have the right to vote. So I think it'd be a shame to not exercise. That right. This, you know, even from when I was 18, I hadn't voted in a general election. Have you not? No. Why, what's so early doors, why were you not? I was just passive towards it. I think I kind of I fell into the same trap as a lot of people felt. I couldn't relate to a lot of politicians. Yeah. Um, sometimes it was there was too much ambiguity and complexity around policies, manifestos, and it becomes a little bit like, yeah. if you don't feel you can relate or understand, then you can then ignore, I guess. Yeah, I, see, I, I, see, I am slightly empathetic to that, but I think more and more as you get a bit older, you realise you're not going to get the perfect shoe that fits. You're not going to find like the ideal Nike MX. Actually, that's not true because it's perfect. But <laughs> well, they're getting a bit holding. They are getting, they're getting a bit holding. I could, I could do some new ones. But, um, but you're never going to get a party that that kind of sticks to everything you believe yeah, in. No. But it's easy, you just need to remember that you need to find something that best suits your kind of like moral compass or wherever it might be. And remember that politics affects everything. It's not just a lot of people blabbering on in Westminster. It's something that affects every single thing you do and every single day of your life. Absolutely. E even if you're not gonna vote, you know, for one of the mainstream parties, spoil your, spoil your vote. If you don't not vote at all, register vote and then do a protest vote, say, none yeah. of these guys. Still don't exercise not vote at all. Voice it, yeah. The thing is, I, I do, I, I, I've, I've formed an understanding as to why some people wouldn't vote. I think you hit the nail on the head. There's a, there's a massive lack of understanding. And one of the things that, we have to deal with here is there's no education in, in, about the political system. We understand as we get older and we're more kind of attuned to the wider world, but at a young age, you don't really know what you're voting for. Yeah. You don't think yeah. that sometimes your vote can make a difference. I think one of the things which is happening better now, there's more kind of communication streams for politicians to use, but it's to be that direct kind of voice to, to the voter and show how they can be impacted. As we've seen uh, a lot of stuff with um, JME and Jeremy Corbyn, yep. they're, they're using channels that young people are at. Yeah. And it's kind of breaking down that education in a more digestible way. Yeah. I think that's really important. The celebrity thing's really interesting because like we've seen so many tweets, mm. right from Danny DeVito to Ellie Goulding to Macy Williams to Danny DeVito doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Danny so, DeVito was a strange job, but yeah. great. But it's an interesting one to everyone as well, because as you saw in the last American election, Hillary Clinton is the one with the age of celeb powers, Jay-Z, Beyonce, yes, and turn, whoever it might be. Backfired a little bit. And it backfires because it excludes these kind of rural, non-London, non-suburban yeah. dwellers. But that point kind of leads into quite nicely the whole issue around the echo chamber. So the celebrities that are endorsing Jeremy Corbyn, for example, are celebrities that we, we, we're we aware of. Yeah. Like, we listen to their music, we watch their films, we read their programs. Jeremy Corbyn was at the Coral and the Libertines gig and like did this massive speech with those are bands that I listen to. But it's Middle England that don't listen to those shows. <laughs> music. So, and it's those that um, will vote the other way. So it is. Swings it. The one thing you've said to me and is around connecting with what's important to you. Yeah. It's really, really key in all of this. So, and whether that's a step before you start looking at manifestos or policies, is understanding what's important to me as an individual. Yeah. Beliefs, yeah. values, everything like that. And it could be anything from the arts to fox hunting to music, whatever it might be, and then relating that to what party suits you best. And like you said, the uh, the shoe's not always gonna fit. Yeah. You know, and you've got to find one that kind of fits as much as possible. But going there with a acceptance that it's not going to be a perfect fit, but yeah. as close as possible. And that's the thing for me, that's the thing you, you two have probably uh, brought out of me a little bit, of finding and connecting to what I care about and then relating it to the party or the person. And I think that's hugely important, man. I think you also touched on something interesting there. There was this brilliant, it's going to sound a bit of a curveball here, but brilliant South Park episode when they talk about voting. <laughs> we need to find a clip for this story. Oh, yeah. Definitely find a clip for this, don't you worry. There's, they talk about voting in it, and the whole thing is, right, register to vote, register to vote, register to vote. And then everyone registers to vote, registers to vote, but they don't vote for the party that the people saying register to vote right. said to. Whoa, wait, what are you doing? I'm voting. No, no, you, you wrote down turd sandwich. Yeah, I know. Dude, you're supposed to vote for Giant Douche.
I thought I was supposed to make my own decision. Well, yeah, but not if your decision is for turd sandwich. What the hell is wrong with you? I don't think I'm of that opinion. I would be annoyed with the person who doesn't vote, gets the voting day, and then moans oh, when, when, yeah, they, when, yeah. they're, when, yeah. they're, when they say, oh, all the politicians are the same, oh, why are taxes getting high? It's like, if you voted for whichever party it may be, and not the party that I necessarily agree with, then fine, that's your opinion, you've enacted your opinion. Yeah. Don't moan about it if you have after the day, if you haven't taken the time to either spoil your vote or choose a political party. Just do a bit of research. The amount of time people spend on whatever social media channels these days, use those social media channels to learn a bit about politics. It's like so, soapbox moment. <laughs> 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 I'm actually standing on a soapbox here, you just can't see it. But it is, it, it does go back to, you, you've mentioned social media, and that just reminds me of the echo chamber again, when Trump yeah. came into power. Yeah. We're in our own little bubble, we, we choose to follow the people that are the same opinion of us. Um, we're friends with people with the same opinion of us, and it's constantly being reinforced through social. Yeah. And then when it comes to kind of the election day, it's always a bit, a bit of a shock. So I've seen a lot of posts recently, and people always prefix their posts with, "I know it's an echo chamber out there." It's like that's fine, but if you try and touch like ten percent of the people on your social media channels who don't vote the same as you, ninety yeah. percent do, you may get through to them, and yeah. then they all go into their, their echo chamber and share those opinions. So don't be so. Don't think to yourself it's going to have no effect at all. You just need to be per persevering yeah, and yeah. try and get your message across. And also, when you do come to contact people who don't believe the same with you, don't be afraid to debate these things. Yeah, I think that's one of the big not, things. Not with well. alcohol, don't mix yeah. alcohol. Don't mix yeah. 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 alcohol. Yeah. 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 But that, that is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> don't drink and vote, kids. <laughs> <laughs> kids definitely don't drink and vote. Um, 18 plus. <laughs> politics has always historically been seen as a taboo subject, you know, and I'm talking about politics, religion. You should talk about politics. Yeah. It's healthy to debate because even if you don't agree with things, it helps that breaking down of understanding. Yeah. And if it's someone who's not into politics and just like debating for the sake of it, that person will have learned something new. Absolutely. And it's good to be excited about politics. It is. It's yeah. becoming cool again. I think for someone like me as well, like I wasn't as educated on it, so I have to, and more recently I've had an interest in it, but I thought, okay, so what are my channels? Because it's not credible to open a conversation about politics with someone, and you don't know as much as them. And I think that actually probably forces a lot of people not to talk about it, because they feel yeah. that it might really good make point. them look a bit foolish, I guess. And I, there's a, there's a vlogger, actually, called Jay Foreman. I've been watching his vlogs, and he starts at the very basics, like, what are the Houses of Parliament? <laughs> right <laughs> through to, like, why vote and who you should vote for. And the way it breaks it down, I mean, I'm sure there's there's lots of other things out there. That's like something I've connected with, which yeah. is, well, actually, I understand it more now. Um, but there is so much opportunity to kind of not get lost in the noise and the ambiguity of it all, because there's, there's ways you can work around that, I think, yeah, to make it... You don't have to have an intellectual conversation about it, but have an opinion. Absolutely. Yeah, so, and that goes back to the point you made at the start. Everything's connected to politics. So if you have an interest, be it in music or sport or family or food, you can associate that politics. Learn about that bit of politics, and then you'll learn from other people the other bits of yeah, politics. Yeah, absolutely. That gradually absolutely. will make that jigsaw fit together. So what we're going to do, we're going to put links up to the manifestos yeah. on, um, on this page. Mm -hmm. uh, but beyond that, there's also some really handy links uh, that have come through a vlog that I saw, which are also very useful as well, which is uh, voteforpolicies.co.uk. Uh, which is basically where you just choose what you believe in and what, what what means a lot to you, and then it kind of works out as a result of that what party you, or cool. you should vote for. That's cool. But you're not voting for a party; you're voting for a person. So if you want to like learn who's in your constituency in your area where you live, then go on BBC. That's really good for that. Yeah. And then Google the hell out of them. Yeah. <laughs> well, ours is Islington North, so, so um, yeah, you got big country. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, there's also a website called theyworkforyou.com, which is also very good to find out a little bit more about that person. And finally, um, there is one called register. <laughs> that again. Register. Oh, can't. <laughs> Why can't I get this bit right? I want to get this right. Um, and then finally, there's one called registerforfucksake.com. If that doesn't say the message, then I think that's pretty straightforward, isn't it?